What's it up, maggots? It's gonna take more than holding the trigger to win this war. I'm here to show you some advanced tactics. Yeah, my bro, bro, Zay, taking a look at a game that I'm pretty sure you designed, my friend. It's Bro Force time! Well, you know something, Silver Bro? I've been waiting for this game for a very long time, and I mean, come on. Literally, one of the greatest games to come into the atmosphere in the world we live in. I don't know when you found time to design a video game because I'm pretty sure, time. I'm pretty sure if you were gonna make a game, this is the game you would make. Bro Force. Yeah. Bro Force is all about shutting down the devil. That's right. Just like any other good-blooded American would want to do, you have to go through these worlds and take down Lucifer Satan himself. Canadian too. It's a side-scrolling, old-school throwback, again, 8, 16-bit kind of game. Yeah. We, we throw that word around a lot. But in this case, what's really interesting about it is you've got a wide assortment of bro characters to play as. And they're, little brands. they're all based off of classic action stars. And not just classic action archetypes, like literally characters, like Robocop. Ro 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 yeah. Rambro. Rambro. Bromando. Bro, yeah, uh, Bronan the Barbarian. The Brobarian. You got Bro in Black. Mr. Anderbro. Indiana Brones. Indiana Brones. What? The Judge Bro or Bro yeah, Dread hey, bro, or something. Bro. I mean, it just goes on and on. It's just a bottomless well of these characters. And especially at the beginning, when you're like unlocking one after another, I would you're get just excited. like, holy Bro Giver. Oh my God, that's rad. Like, it just keeps going. Yeah. I haven't played a game where every time I unlock the character, I have to say the name of the character. B.A. Bro Rackus. <laughs> B.A. Bro Rackus. You're like, yeah, Bro Mando. You're like, yeah, this is awesome. I love Bronan. Yeah. I mean, some of the characters, okay, it's obviously Bro Giver is probably my least favorite. Indiana Brones on his whip, as special yeah, as the yeah, gun, because he yeah. hardly ever uses the gun. I feel like they're a little bit underpowered, but you know what? You can't always be a super powerful bro. Well, the Brocketeer's not very good either. The Brocketeer, yeah. he, he's not very good. But some of the characters are great. The way that you experience these characters, to me, is really what makes this game sing. Because you don't just choose a character at the beginning of the level. You are given a character. When you're like, you know, shooting dudes and you're killing things and you're blowing stuff up, and then you'll see a little POW in the corner. Well, if you, if you save that POW, it gives you an extra life. And that's important because one bullet can kill you. Sure. So it's all about trying to amass these lives so that as you die through the course of the level, and the levels are pretty short, but they get very hard, you can continue and actually make it through. However, when you unlock one of these POWs, it's a bro, and it turns you into, randomly, a different bro. So you, you, you might know. have a bro you like, and you're like, I don't know if I want to rescue that POW because I'm bro in black and I am blowing shit up with my crazy cricket gun. And then you're like, you know what, all of a sudden, I want to save that character, bro -ditter. You're like, yes, yes, now I get to be <laughs> I mean, there's just something special about it, you know? It, like, it's it seems like the easiest concept, like, ah, you just give me different characters, go through the world, you save the American flag, pops up, it's your checkpoint, and you, st you stop the devil at the end of every level. What's not to love about that? But then you just get, I don't know, I just found myself so invested where I had, I only need to save 14 more bros before I get a new bro. Right. I might as well keep going until I save all the 14 more bros. Unlocking characters becomes such an important part of the game because you want to see how creative they're getting, what the next bro's going to be. There's so many. It just feels like a bottomless well of bros. But more so than that, what I really appreciated about Bro Force was its destructible levels. Because these levels are not, they look kind of just like Contra no, man, levels. Everything in these worlds are destructible except for the American flag and the Grand Estanza. That's right. And you do blow everything up, including like waves and waves of bad guys who blow up in fountains of blood and it looks ridiculous and is often hysterical. And it's just like pedal to the metal craziness. And it definitely lived up to everything that I wanted a game called Bro Force to be. And that's why I'm giving Bro Force a 9 out of 10, bro. What are you giving it? I'm giving it an 8.5. Those are good scores from Bro Views on the Run. Yeah!